Over in Luke chapter 12, Jesus gave a parable that was meant to teach us a lesson about priorities. Luke chapter 12, beginning in verse 16, he says, The land of a rich man was very productive. He began reasoning to himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, This is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years to come. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your soul is required of you, and now who will own what you have prepared? So is the man who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich toward God. Here you have this rich man in this parable, and he had an abundant harvest, which in and of itself is not sinful. That was a blessing from God that his land was as productive as it was. The problem then was not the fact that his land was productive, his sin was not in having an abundant harvest. The problem and the reason why he was called a fool was because he thought that was most important and that deserved all his attention. And his spiritual well-being was something that he could neglect, at least what he thought. He could put that off until some later date and then he would take care of his soul. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your soul is required of you. We need to make sure that whether we are prosperous or not, we need to always remember that the state of our soul is more important than anything else in this world. We need to make sure that our soul is right before God, no matter what else happens here. We may be prosperous we may be in poverty. We may be somewhere in between. But regardless of what happens, regardless of how God blesses us in this life, we need to make sure that we're prepared for what comes next, for what comes after our life here is over. And the only way we can be prepared is by making sure our soul is right and not do as this man did and think that, well, later I can take care of my soul. Later I can make sure that I'm right with God. He didn't have any more time. He didn't know it, but he didn't have any more time. This very night, your soul is required of you. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know where we're going to be in five years or 10 years or even tomorrow. No matter what we're doing in this life, let's make sure that we're right with God. Let's make sure we're doing his will. Because in the end, all that matters is not how much money we have, not how prosperous our business ventures were or our how big of a harvest our farm was, was producing. In the end, all that matters is whether or not our soul is right with God. So let's make sure that we're focusing on Him and doing His will and making the preparations that we need to make so that we can be with Him for eternity.